One of the challenges for carpet installers is finding a clean, flat spot big enough to lay out and cut their carpeting. And at least on our job, there was a brand new driveway for Melvin to use. Now carpet has changed a lot over the years. And it's way better now than it used to be. It lasts longer, it wears better, the colors last better and it's more stain resistant, and it has a different type of backing usually now than it used to. It used to be made of jute, a natural sort of a fiber, and now the backing is all synthetic, usually. The only downside is the more flexible synthetic backing needs two strips of the tack strip around the perimeter to really hold it as it's being stretched. This little piece of wood that is set down into the um, padding is to fasten the sliding closet door bottom guides to. It will be flush with the carpet and the guides can be attached directly to the face of the carpet. We are using a 7 16 rebond padding and it's largely made from foam scraps that are left over from the furniture and automotive industries. This is an example of an excellent and reasonable recycling usage. The carpet is seamed together with a heat activated seam tape. Getting a nice tight virtually invisible seam really sort of makes public the difference between a beginner and a pro carpet installer. And Melvin's years of experience really shine as he seamed together all of this level plush. We decided on a level cut plush carpet style. There are several styles and an infinite number of colors and characteristics to choose from. It's easy to get really sort of overwhelmed at the impossibility of comparing apples to apples when you're shopping for carpet. You can pick from level cut plush, patterned carpet, frizzle carpet, cut pile or loop carpeting in every different color and with every different density, every different face weight, different number of twists in the yarn. And all of these options and different characteristics are made by a relatively small number of manufacturers, probably less than a dozen. It has to be intentional that comparison shopping is so hard for carpet. Stretching the rug, as it's called, into place is as much art as science, and the sequence that is used is important. Besides that, different types of carpet stretch differently as well. Another subtle but super important challenge for a carpet installer is keeping track of the nap of the carpet. There's a slight difference in the appearance depending on the direction of the weave and the direction from which you are observing the finished surface. And it's got to be consistent through the house. And you've got to keep track of that when you're cutting up the rolls into the shapes and sizes that are going to fit into the space that you have to cover. Melvin's son, Justin, is following in the family field of endeavor as he learns to be a flooring installer. And I've got to say, watching these guys work, he and his dad make a good team. 
So if you've been following this house building series at all, you know by now that these winding stairs have been a bit of a challenge for everybody the whole way through. But Melvin just absolutely handled it. It looks great, and I looked it over carefully because there was plenty of spots on these stairs that were uncommonly tough for the carpet man. But I gotta say, on the stairs and all the way through the house, the carpet is pretty much perfect. Thanks for watching Essential Crafts and keep up that good work.